we welcome you back to uh, this uh, edition of the Father's Blessing. And I have something exciting here today. I'm Pastor Bill Ligon, uh, and I have one of the leaders of our church here. He's one of the elders in our church, Mr. Bill Kofer. And he had a wonderful experience practicing the blessing as a businessman uh, in our city. So welcome, Bill. It's good to have you here with us today. Uh, tell us what happened to you when you went into a business. I would love to. I, I'm so grateful to be able to give this testimony and thankful to God because it's such a powerful uh, example of the goodness and the love of our God and His desire to bless people. I'm a charter member of Christian Newell Church, and so that means for the last 37 years, 37 <laughs> or, or 38 years nearly now, uh, I've sat under the teaching of Pastor Ligon on the power of the blessing, imparting the blessing through the spoken word. And through those years, Pastor Ligon, I practiced it, but in a limited way, really. Because through this experience that God has given me, I, my eyes have been opened to the awesome power of the spoken blessing as never before. My son and I are in the rental business, and uh, we needed a little clip to fix an oven in one of our properties, so I went to a local appliance store. And as I walked in, I greeted the owner, and there was a lady sitting at a desk to his left, and uh, I found out that he didn't have the part we needed, but we talked for a few minutes, and I told the owner that I knew his mother and father because my son and I had recently remodeled their kitchen. And then I asked him how his business was doing. He said, it is slow, very, very slow. He said, I will say it's steady, but it's so slow. Well, we said our goodbyes, and I turned to leave, and then I had a thought. So I turned back around and I said to him, can I speak a blessing over your business? He said, yes. And I don't remember my exact words, but I said something like this. The Lord bless your business with prosperity, abundance, and good success in Jesus' name. And I remember as I walked out the door, I was thinking it surely would be nice if God would confirm my words with his blessing on this business. Well, about 10 days later, I went to a professional firm for an appointment, and it just so happens that this appliance owner's mother is a member of that firm. And as soon as she saw me come in, she pulled me to the side and said, do you know anything about a man going to my son's business and speaking a blessing? I said, yes, that was me. She said, oh, well, you need to know what happened after you left. And I said, well, tell me. She said that same day that I spoke the blessing, I, I spoke the blessing about 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning. She said that same day a lady came in who's the head of a large property management firm in the area, a large real estate company, and they manage many properties. And she told my son that they had made the decision to give all their business to him. Wow, isn't that and, wonderful? Yeah. And I said, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then, uh, then she said, but wait a minute. She said, later the same day, the same day you spoke the blessing, another man came in who owns 200 rental properties in the area and told my son that they were tired of dealing with the large discount stores and they had made the decision to bring all their appliance business to my son's firm. Wow, the power of the blessing. Yes, and this mother was ecstatic. She was excited, and I was too. <laughs> I mean, what a blessing. And the, the way it came about... Uh, there's more. The yeah, there's yeah. more, but I'm not there yet. Okay. <laughs> We're getting, we're getting cues from the cameraman. He said, there is more. There's more, there's oh, more. Oh, wow. But I just he, was, want, he was going like, 
There is more, more, more. That's right. There's more. So oh, right. anyway, when uh, when I got this good report from the mother, I decided to go back to the appliance store owner and ask him what had happened as a result of the blessing. He said, "Well, he well, first he confirmed what his mother said, told me exactly what she'd said, and then he said." That afternoon, we were very busy, the afternoon of the morning you spoke the blessing. And he said, in the, in the days right after the blessing, he received several large checks, some for which he had waited a long time. Wow. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, <laughs> People came in and paid up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> had, I, had I conjured up a scenario... Uh, of how I wanted God to bless this man because of the spoken blessing, it wouldn't have been near that good. God is so good. So then the man asked me to speak another blessing. And we were standing right there in his showroom, so I said, well, would you like to step around the corner? He said, no, I'm fine right here. So I spoke another blessing right there in the middle of his showroom. Praise God. God is so good. It sure fired you up. It fired me up. I can hardly wait to go and speak a blessing. I, uh, I shared this story with my Sunday school class, and afterwards one of the men came to me and said that his wife's business was at the critical stage. And would I go and speak a blessing over their business? So I did. I did it with, with great joy and expectation. So we're waiting to see what God will do there. Meanwhile... The mother of the appliance store owner told one of the members of her firm about the blessing of her son's business. So he asked me to come and speak a blessing over their firm. So I told him if he'd set up a staff meeting, give me about five minutes, I'd come and speak the blessing over their business. And that'll give me time to lay a scriptural foundation for the blessing and then allow the Holy Spirit to pour forth God's love to those precious people through the form of the spoken blessing. So I'm so excited. I'm ready to speak the blessing anywhere God opens the door. You know, Bill, the scripture says that Jesus seeing their faith, you can see faith when it's operating, and I have seen faith in you. And Hebrews 11 says that by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob. That's right. And by faith, Jacob blessed the sons. Right. You know. His, 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 you know, the sons of, of his son. Right. right. So, anyway, uh, I see that faith in you. Yes. And I encourage you to have great faith. And in order to do that, Bill, Brother Ligon, yes, can I sir. share one more please, thing? Please, please do. I just wanted to say that through this experience, God has opened my eyes to the awesome power of the spoken blessing. And he showed me something. I had been seeing in times past, I'd been seeing the blessing as a cumulative thing. What I mean by that is, I had believed up to this point that if one would speak the blessing faithfully, day by day, week by week, month by month, that there would be a gradual building of power until finally one day, breakthrough would come. But through this experience, I saw that God's mighty breakthrough power can burst forth immediately, instantly through one spoken blessing. And it has absolutely revolutionized my life. You know, that's the promise in number 627. Yes. God said when we speak it, he's the one who does it. We right. put his name on the people. And what an awesome privilege that God allows us to partner with him. He tells us, he, he told Moses, said, tell the priest to say this. He's so specific in his instructions to Moses. Say this, say, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Because it is the Lord who blesses and we're not able to bless. But he allows us to partner with him in placing the name on the recipient. I appreciate you sharing this yes, blessing. Sir. And I want you to know that you can learn about this. We have a book with a four teaching CD series that you can order. 
And you can study these principles for yourself and begin to release the blessing in your life, in the lives of the members of your household, and upon your friends, upon their homes, and upon their businesses. And if you want to take it further, we also have a uh, eight-week study program in which you can get this book, and uh, I have prepared uh, teachings on uh, DVDs so that you can put them in uh, your uh, computer or you can put them in your TV and your class can sit and listen to me, teach for just a few minutes, and then you can follow the study guide and you can study the materials. They're available also online, so you can order them. And I pray that what you have learned today will result in great favor coming upon your life. And Bill, why don't you speak blessing over those who are receiving this right now? I just say right now to you who are watching, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in Jesus' name. So the name of the Lord has been placed on you, and may God's favor be with you. Yes. Amen. Amen.